r slash ask reddit by planet reddit. What's the dumbest thing you have ever said on a date? Hey look you have a nervous tick. Oh. It's getting worse. Ro. That's terribly amazing. This was more just me hanging out with a girl I had been dating for a little while. We were talking and she brought up the fact that her biological father was a sperm donor. We had already talked about this before and I didn't really have anything particular to keep that conversation going besides that really increases your chances of accidental incest. You know. If someone said that to me I'd laugh my ass off. Accidental is the third hottest kind of incest. When I was 17 a girl messaged me on MySpace wanting to hang out. I though she was pretty cute so I agreed to meet her for some games at her place which her family joined in on. She had on a shirt with really short sleeves revealing a few horizontal parallel lines just below her shoulder. Wanting to make light conversation and being the funny guy that I am. I asked, where do you get those cuts on your arms? Do you cut yourself? As soon as I finished cracking that joke, my sheltered youth or childhood came crashing down around me as I realized that people actually did do that. And I just called one out right in front of her family. Tell us the aftermath. After realizing what I'd done my mind went racing for any kind of recovery statement but I kept drawing blanks. The girl I was with started to say something but her sister, who apparently knew about her cutting, cut her off with bear attack. She fought off a bear, which spurred some awkward yet genuine laughs and gave the conversation enough of a spin to hightail it onto another subject. We finished the game and oddly enough she called me again. But what the people really want to know. We never ended up having sex. Wanting to compliment on my date's intelligence I said. I have met stupider girls than you. So you are really okay. First one that actually made me cringe. Oh the awkward. How about I like talking to you because you're not too smart. You're just the right level of intelligence. So. Your profile picture. Was that your sister or something? You didn't. 44RDV4RK has two fours. Edit. At the beginning. Yes. I accidentally counting. Wasn't on a date. But when I first met my girlfriend. I blurted out you're really good looking for a Filipina. I still cringe remembering that. Visiting Manhattan. Watching a Rangers game in a bar by myself. Cute girl comes up and starts chatting with me. Mentions that she's Dominican. I don't remember my exact words but I somehow brought up cholera in the first 30 seconds and that was that. So. Do you like. Have cholera. Poto. Puto. First date and the lovely lady and I get the bright idea to go to a Russian themed vodka bar called Red Square. 30 bucks buys like a craft of infused vodka and a plate of sliced pickles. Anyway it was going well and we're definitely invading each other's personal space. I'm getting lushed and sloshed and start to realize that in the marathon that is a night of intense drinking I was sprinting out of the gates and fading fast. You know I just cleaned my bathroom for the first time in like 3 months. The piss stains on that toilet were formidable. So it's clean now. If you wanted to comb me over the end you had to use the bathroom it'd be clean now. My bathroom is clean. In the ensuing awkward pause she scooted about 6 inches away from me. And it was a 6 inches I would never recover. It wasn't a date per se. But very early on in my relationship with my ex we were on the train from CT to NY and sitting across the aisle from us was a young woman with an adorable puppy. After my ex let out an audible AWW. I somehow managed to say I love ducking dogs instead of I ducking love dogs. His response was do I need to hold you back? I saw something similar in a green text on 4chan once. It was about a guy playing volleyball and managed to punch the ball really hard into a girl's face. He could not decide whether to say I'm ducking sorry. Or are you okay? So he said are you ducking sorry? I laughed so hard ducking. I was at my ex-girlfriend's house and she broke up with me. I pretty much begged. And while begging. Used a phrase that will haunt my manhood and the manhood of every man in existence. I used a phrase that should only be used for the most manly of times. Put me back in the game coach. I've since grown bigger balls. Dude. This made me laugh much more than the original comment. Early on with my now ex. We're fooling around. 
she like to talk dirty. She's really good at it, or maybe I'm just really easy. Anyways. Each time she says something I feel the need to respond. It got her going. This has been going for a while and honestly. I'm running out of ideas fast. Only enough blood to run one organ at a time ladies. Long story short. She goes I want you inside me. And me fumbling around trying to quickly think of something to push this perfect moment over the edge attempted to say something along the lines I want to be inside you. Only sexier. Okay not really, but instead it came out I want your coke. Holy shit. I have never wanted to just die and fade from existence anymore in my entire life. She on the other hand pushes me back a bit off her stares into my eyes and laughs uncontrollably for oh I'd say a good 20-30 minutes. That pretty much ended my chances for that night and many to come. You aren't the only one man. Mine happened mid keletus She was talking dirty using the I love your coke inside me. Feels so good. Yada 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 you get the picture. I respond with a good old I love the way your coke feels. Now I realize I had ducked up right around the word coke. So I quickly spit out a list of expletives that culminated with me just yelling for I agony at this poor girl. This was said to me. But it fits. Met a guy on vacation. Chatted online for a while. Liked each other. Decided to have our first real date. While eating. Guy told me a story about the time his father shoved a cat in a pillowcase and slammed it into the pavement until it went retarded. Told him his story was horrible and to stop talking. He apologized. Tried to make me feel better by reassuring me that afterwards. His father bashed its head in with a shovel. Ro. That's how serial killers are made. How do you know he isn't one? Was out with this girl once. She asked me what my opinion was towards tattoos. Said something like this. In my opinion it's fine as long as it's not barbed wire. Tribal or names dates. She had her parents names tatted on her arm. Which I didn't notice till after I said it. Dude. Be true to yourself. Last girlfriend and I, short term relationship, broke up over a tattoo she was getting. This makes me feel better so thanks. One time I was kind of on a hangout date with a girl and we were watching a movie over at my apartment. We were holding hands and she started innocently stroking my arm. She asks how do you get your skin so soft without missing a beat I reply with a whisper I bathe in virgin's blood, later I found out that she was, in fact, a virgin. Hey guys I found the serial killer. Later I found out that she was, in fact, a virgin. Well that's convenient. I've been running low on my body scrub. Blurble 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 followed by a hanging of my head in shame. Backstory. The girl asked me if I watched round the twist as a kid at the same moment I had took a fine big gulp from a pint of Guinness. I was in so much of a hurry to answer I forgot to swallow. Just the mental image of your mouth opening really widely to answer and nothing but Guinness deciding to be the reply has really given me the giggles. Technically the date had finished. And she'd invited me back to her place. While in her room. We were slow dancing. Solid. Deep eye contact. I was going in for the kiss. She was deliberately teasing me by pulling away or brushing my lips with hers. Had her fingers in my hair. I had my nails running down her back. The sexual tension was like electricity in the air. She leans forward. Kisses my neck and whispers in my ear have you ever had to work this hard before? Yes. It's not work when you're that beautiful. This guy. He knows his shit. More of a comment to a girl at a party. I walked out to the patio where she was sitting on the floor. I have big clumsy feet. So naturally I kicked over her drink and spilt it all over her crotch on accident. She says. Or you got me all wet. I reply. I just met you and I got you all wet already. She then points to a man in the corner and says. Um. Yeah that's my boyfriend over there. I laughed at my own joke. No one else laughed. I showed myself out. As you were leaving. Spaghetti fell from the hole in your pocket. Down your pant leg and out all over the floor as you were walking out. This is something I said and did. But it definitely fits the theme. So I met a girl. Went on a date. Everything was pretty standard. I got way I too drunk. But somehow charmed this girl into bed. 
We were getting down to business when I felt that she had an Uber ring. Which I then proceeded to pull out of her and throw onto my erection while saying throw the ring. Win a prize like some sort of carnival game guy. Needless to say. She was immediately turned off. We didn't end up completing the deed. She kicked me out. And we never spoke again. TLDR. Don't pretend to play carnival games with birth control devices. As a follow up to this. Another one of the, the dumbest things I've ever said on a date was repeating this story to my date. Double or nothing. When I was 16 I was on a date and in an attempt to be funny, because you know. Girls like funny guys, I racked my brain trying to come up with a funny story. The first thing to pop up in my mind was a story a friend had once told me. About a jacket he had seen one of his girlfriends wearing. The brand was Identity. And the name was displayed centered on the front of the jacket. With the zip splitting the word in half. Identity. Now. To a 16 year old guy's mind. That is hilarious. A girl walking around with the word titty. Basically labeling her titties. PFTFCHCH. So I told the story and started laughing. She looks up at me with a completely numb face. And then looks down at her jacket. This was 2 hours or so into the date. I hadn't noticed that she was wearing the exact jacket I was making fun of. Yeah. An identity crisis. Just the one. Actually. After a night out with this girl I've been courting. We went back to my place and started fooling around. We got into my room where she knelt down and began to take my pants off. Once I was naked she said wow you're really big. Trying to be humble. I responded nah. I've seen bigger. It was very awkward. I'm going to remember this. Not because I have a large penis. But because it's funny. Reminds me of the one where you are about to have sex with a girl. And she asks is this your first time? And I'll respond with a girl? Yeah. With a mammal? A guy told me he associated red hair with incest because he came from a small town where it was apparently impossible for the ginger kids to avoid sleeping with a cousin or two. Right after he had complimented my very ginger hair. Super smooth. Don't feel bad. Maybe you can recover. On my dad's first date with his now long term girlfriend. They ended up sitting by the fountain at a local park. He implied that a serial killer should bring his victims there as the running water would cover the sounds of a struggle. She peaced out immediately. I guess she must have seen something in him. This guy took me out to go watch the sunset a few miles outside of town. This was a bad first idea date anyway. On our way out there he looked at me and said don't worry. I didn't bring you out here to kill you. To be fair he probably wouldn't have said that if had intended to kill you. Don't leave us in suspense. Did he kill you? My date was telling me how she had mono a year or two prior. And I replied yeah. I thought I had mono for an entire year. Turns out I was just really bored Ayla Wayne's world. We are engaged now. Hope she bought you a gun rack for your anniversary. He doesn't even own a gun. Let alone many guns that would necessitate an entire rack. What is he gonna do with a gun rack? I was on a first date with a guy I really liked. Everything was going great. And we ended up making out on the couch. I pulled away for a moment to say something sweet. But all that came out was. You smell. Like laundry detergent. I flew to London to see a girl and when we finally get around to making out she says you smell like this bush in Chicago that I hate. I was so confused. That's actually adorable. Your hair smells nice. Duck you 17 magazine. Duck you. That is not what girls like to hear. From random passers by on the street? No. But I love hearing it from my boyfriend when he leans in to hug me or something. Maybe not on a first date. I went on a date a few months after separating from my ex-wife. The restaurant wasn't fine dining. But it was a pleasant little place that had extremely large. Comfortable chairs and an extensive wine selection. My date ordered a lobster bisque and. For some reason. I ordered chicken fingers. When the waiter brought our food. It was clear that I had ordered something from the kids menu. I looked around the room at all the other couples eating normal food by candlelight and said to my date that it just doesn't feel right eating chicken fingers in a chair this deep. That's actually charming. 
I hope that date ended well. You should have asked the waiter what wine pairs best with chicken fingers. I was dating a girl called Teresa. Who I called Terra for short. One day. I said this to her. I like Terra. It means monster in Greek. I'm still proud of this moment. Girl. Yeah. My grandma died recently. Me. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. How did she die? Huh? She left her nursing home in her scooter and got hit by a car while crossing the street. Me. That's hilarious. Was on a date with a girl at a fusion restaurant in New York and the topic began of different types of cuisine we've tried out before. She asked me. Have you ever eaten Thai? And before my brain could stop my mouth I said. No. But my ex is Malaysian so I've come close. She thought it was hilarious. Thank god. In college. I had just walked a girl back to her dorm after a night out. We were making out in front of said dorm. I was probably about to get laid. And I said I had a lot of fun tonight. Heather. Her name was not Heather. I did not get laid. This was the first time I had hung out with this particular girl in the flesh. We had. However. Been texting and such beforehand. And I knew there was going to be some cuddling. Etc. Eventually. We end up in my car. She's sitting on my lap and we're asking each other questions. And she asks me. Where would you want to be if you could be anywhere right now? Being the doofus sap I was. I replied. Russia before realizing that she wanted me to say something like. Right here. With you. Three years later. That still makes me smile. And we ended up dating for a decent amount of time. Maybe 7 months or something. Senior year of high school I got set up on a date with a girl who was around my age. She was clearly into me. Because she'd only really dated university guys. But she'd insisted that her friends set us up on a date. So she's flirting. And I'm flirting. And all is going according to plan. We're on our second drink. Legal drinking age is 18 here. And I can see where the night is headed. So I go so you're all single now bae? And she smiles coyly and says yes I am I swear she was just shy of doing one of those sexy winks. Then she asks me if I'm single. Well of course I'm single. Otherwise I wouldn't be on a date. But in my infinite wisdom. I see that as an opening to moan and beach about my ex. 20 minutes later the date was over and I phoned my friends to go out and drown the sorrows of my own stupidity. I learned my lesson. Though. Never. Talk. About. Exes. TL. DR. Got set up on a date with a cute girl and ended up complaining about my ex for 20 minutes. Can't agree with you more. I actually just started talking to someone after removing myself from the scene for a year after a particularly nasty breakup. Anytime she asks so what have you been doing with yourself? It's hard not to reply dreaming about setting fire to that beach while I'll laugh maniacally and drink lemonade from my fire hose. I don't think it would be well received. Best story I ever heard was my something my friend did at the end of a date. My friend went on a date with a girl to see Captain America. She had drove. And when she dropped him off at the end of the night. She leaned in for a kiss and he wasn't sure how to respond. So he gave her a thumbs up. Edit. Just remembered a few stories about this same friend. All this awkward shit is the same friend. He was talking to a girl on the train one time. And she has said that her and her friend had just got back from Queensland. He noted that he liked her tan. The girl was black. One of our friends sitting nearby swore at him for being so stupid and then walked to another carriage ranting about him. Sitting on the couch with a girl and another friend. You should see how much I can eat. My other friend just looked at the girl when she turned to look at him. And all he could do is shake his head and say oh yeah. He eats a lot. I ruined a girl by fisting her one time. Same friend from the how much food story went to meet up with a 19 year old girl he had been hooking up with. She worked at a hog's breath cafe. And our friend just sat there staring at her. Never responding to her even when she smiled and said hello to him. He later told our friend to send her message saying sorry. But he was shocked at how hot she was. My friend is ducking classy. Sure. Your friend. You can tell it was him because he threw in the fisting line. He's proud of his work. 
This was something that a guy did that was awkward for me. It was our third date and things were going well. But he was always pushing me to go further and do more stuff with him. So by the end of this date. We were in the backseat of his truck and he just starts taking off his pants while they're kissing and I ask him. What are you doing? I wasn't insinuating that I wanted to go farther or anything, he replies. Oh. I thought you wanted to give me a blowjob? I started to get kind of mad and said. No. Not yet. We had just started seeing each other. He then proceeds to ask if he can just jerk off. I sarcastically say. Really? Well. If you want to. Then he proceeds to jerk off. I would make a. Fap. Fap joke. But he definitely did the sort of pepper grinder motion. He then finished and even got some on my jeans. I was so furious I just got up and left and had a friend pick me up. We call him pepper grinder to this day. TL. DR. Third date with a guy and he jerks off on my pants. How do these guys get dates in the first place? Unlike so many self-diagnosed saps or for loans, These guys are the balls to ask for them. I got this fellas. Sit back. I asked a blind date if she had any cute single friends. For a second I assumed that your date really was blind. And the joke was that she wouldn't know if they were cute or not. I can only imagine that worked out well for you and you immediately started dating her highly attractive friends afterwards. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for 3 videos a day.